Hi, moms and dads. Day 30 of the 90 day parenting challenge. Bonnie and Thomas Leota here. And today we're talking about inspiring and motivating your children to begin to take pride in themselves, take pride in the work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because as a mom, I had made a decision before I even had kids that my kids were going to live a better life than I had. They were going to have all the designer clothes like I never had. They were gonna have all of the gadgets, you know, the DVD players, the cell phones, their own computers, and they did. Um, you know, so I was like forcing my outstanding desires that I had for my children mm. onto them and I never allowed them to number one desire things on their own I never allowed them to learn how to think on their own and even sometimes still today when we throw out a question they want me to just give them the answer because I did that their whole life and so they're developing new pathways in their brain called thinking pathways right neural pathways in the brain and so I really um, personally go to my children um, quite often in the beginning, maybe not so much now, but once in a while I still have to say, you know what, you guys, I'm really sorry I double checked your bags and didn't trust you. I'm really sorry that I just gave you everything your hearts desired and never allowed you to be authentically motivated. I'm really sorry that I did everything so much for you and thought so much for you that I didn't allow you to think on your own. And as soon as I became aware of that, I made my decision that I was going to empower you as a parent for the rest of your life. And so it's just really important to get this key point, isn't it, Tom? The difference between bare minimum, average, and outstanding work, but the importance of you, mom or dad, being able to accept bare minimum from your child for a little while. Yes, because once again, what magic age, if you give them the best, they're going to actually step up and do what is required to make it happen on their own and there isn't one. It must be trained and learned through experiences. So if they put out a little bit of effort, they earn a little bit. They put out more, they earn more. They put out most, they can have most. And that's what's really key here. So any of these stars that they have on the star chart, let them know that if they did something, that's called bare minimum. But don't take it personal if they want to be a slacker. Just let them be a slacker and let them actually receive what a slacker gets. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the hot dog without the mustard and the ketchup. Right. Right? May not even be the bun. It's the hot dog. Bare minimum. We're having hot dogs. Great. There's the hot dog. That's what you put out. That's what it equals. But I want more. What must happen? Do more. Then it can be the next level. Might be the hot dog with the bun. Because huh? you're at the ball game. And then the outstanding would not only be the hot dog and the bun with all the fixings, right? So you get the idea, and the idea is that they actually experience that what they put out, they receive. Because if we've done it all the time, if I'm like you or you're like me, we would want them to have the Cadillac, the top, the best of the best. Let's go get it all. And they didn't do anything. And all of a sudden, they just think that's how it's going to work moving forward. And after a while, I know, we've always felt it, we felt resentment. Gosh, I give them all the best. When are they going to step up? One, two, three, four. There are five now. Nope. Six, seven, ten. Nope. Sixteen. No. Twenty-two. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right? You get what we're feeling. It must be taught, and that's what's key. So what are they going to do down below, Bonnie? Well, down below, they're going to share, or you're going to share, just one privilege that your child has asked for. And you're going to share your version of what it would mean to earn bare minimum, average, or outstanding. So it could be a movie, it could be playtime, anything that your child has um, chosen as a privilege. And this is time for you to think and become an independent parent thinker by choosing what would bare minimum look like, what would average look like, and what would outstanding look like. And I'm just going to say, if your child chooses bare minimum and he gets his wiener for lunch, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom and cry, do. <laughs> but, like, don't give in to your son because he's counting on you right now to show him the difference at the age of 5, 6, 7, 10. Not at the age of 25 when you're sick and tired of taking care of everything and you're booting them out of the house and they have no life skills. Very important. Yes. So we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, day 31, the 90-day parenting challenge.